sorry about that. So, I guess I lost my whole video, but I just repotted her. <laughs> womp womp. <laughs> yeah, I just filmed the whole repotting of this baby and Instagram glitched and crashed and I lost it. So, here she is. She looks really pretty though. Sorry about that. <laughs> She's looking good. I mean, this pod's kind of like crazy proportioned, but we're gonna get there. There is the little pinned leaf, several pinned leaves. So those are gonna look way better. I can't wait to see her grow. Yeah. Okay, and I said I'd show mama. I don't even know who to call mom anymore. Here's the head. So this was chopped off in April, and she's just beautiful beyond all reason, and also extremely ready to repot. And the plan was to put her, I don't even know where it went anymore, in the pot that the other one just came out of. What did I do? Oh, here it is. So the plan was to just put her right back where she started, full circle. Um, I am kind of out of soil though, so I need to mix some more soil. <coughs> I also want to remove some of these, slash most of these flowers. I'm coming in here with my chopsticks. Here she is. They are, get this, Grape dough, petalum, penandrum, super bum, variegata. Or just super bum, variegata. <laughs> they are all beautiful, aren't they? I remember the first time I saw one and I was like, why doesn't everyone have one of those? And of course, the reason is they're very expensive. And she looks so good. All of these roots have been grown since May because she took probably about six weeks to even start growing one root. She is a solid chunker and every single one of these offsets is actually a flower, not a baby. So I have been kind of putting it off, but now that she is out and about, we got to take these off, at least some of them. And now I'm thinking I should have done a photo shoot, but whatever i'm gonna save the flowers and uh i'll try and leaf prop the little uh bracts they're not leaves i learned oh that's so satisfying come along come along oh this thing is huge I mean, if this is the only one I get off, huh. Wow. I purchased her from a seller that moved to Australia <laughs> um, and stopped selling succulents. But I see them all the time for sale on Etsy and here on Instagram and they're getting a lot more common. Mostly you just need to be prepared to pay some money. They're usually around starting at 60, 65 dollars. I think the cheapest I've seen is like 55 and they go up to 80 or so. Okay, so I'll save that and probably do a little cute photo shoot with it later. Off to the side. Oh. Um, let's see, that was so great to remove that because that's been taking an insane amount of energy. And then here are more babies. Sorry, that's confusing. These are flowers um, and I want to keep removing them in a way that does not hurt the farina, which might not even be possible. I'm just going to try and remove one leaf at a time, one bracket. 
Okay. Nice. I broke it. That's okay though. There's another one. Should we dare go for the top one or should we just leave it? Look at how there's like a big chunk missing where the last two flowers were. I think maybe let's just chill. Let's just chill because that's, that's gonna free up a lot of energy. Removing that really big albino one that was like doing nothing for anybody. I mean, it was gorgeous, but this is not very productive. Okay, so here's my to die for Hammerly ceramics pot. And my little. And yeah, I could for sure um, wash this out, but guess what? I'm not going to. <laughs> Just gonna let her sit in there for a second because we have stuff to do. I gotta trim this. I'm glad you guys agree. Yeah, that was that was enough. That was enough for today. I really should have removed those flowers before I chopped her off. That was uh, what we would call a learning experience. I need scissors to trim this. Be right back. Classic, starting live with no equipment. <laughs> yeah, that's it. These are from Bonsai Jack. I said that in the last video that was deleted by Instagram, thank you. Um, yeah, I guess I have to show everything again. So here's the little Bonsai Jack screens. And then you just poop them in and they stop soil from coming out. And I need to mix more soil, so we might as well do that together too. Never hurts to show that, right? So here's the bowl. And my favorite pre-made succulent cactus soil mix. This is 50%. guess it, pumice from Bonsai Jack. This is all in my Amazon shop. You can buy them. It works for me. Your environment might need a little tweaking, this or that, and then I always use my systemic. And I just kind of know the package instructions and I eyeball it. It's Hoffman soil, and the link is in the bio, um, so you don't have to remember that. Yeah, it's all in my Amazon shop. Okay, so that's good to go. Pop this all out here. <clears throat> I'm back here. Got the soil. I don't have a ton of room in this little pot, but my plant is not the biggest plant root-wise. You always want to plant for the size of your roots, not the size of your plant body. Something about putting her back in the original pot is like insanely satisfying to me. I'm going to start on the side that's for the axis. I never reuse soil if I can help it. 
It's nice to get fresh, good nutrients. I do use systemic in all of my soil up to this point. I have found that it really helps me stay on top of all of the various pests that can happen. And I think it's good for like three or six months or something like that. You can check the package, but I usually do not have issues with pests and I just use it when I repot, which is about once a year. I'm trying to think what else I said in the video that got deleted. I think I gave um, her timeline. So I got her in March last year. I think she took about four weeks to root and um, three or four weeks to root air prop style. And then I potted her in this exact same pot. And then she spontaneously grew those two gorgeous stem babies I showed you at the top. And she um, did that all on her own. So uh, in April of this year, about one year after she had been planted originally, I beheaded her. And I have that video up in the IGTV if you want to see that. And yeah. So that probably, the head, which is what we're looking at now, took about six or seven weeks to grow its first root, which was agonizing. <laughs> and in hindsight, I really should have removed all of those flowers, but I didn't. <laughs> and that's why they were still on here. And that's why I've removed them now. So better late than never. And, um, and then we had to move. So we moved in June. So I didn't want to, you know, mess around with her while she was getting established and adjusting to a new environment, but I think we're good to go now. Always trying to get centered if we can help it. I would use like a tap and pat method. Usually the leaves are not so big and I can use my fingers to press down, but it's a high quality problem here. She looks a little lopsided because I just took those flowers off, but this leaf here is going to fill in that space in no time. Who knows, too, with the little uh, gap, she might grow more stem babies because um, in my experience, it seems like sunlight on the stem stimulates offsets. Babies. Any other questions? Yeah, and then the plan is to water all of these immediately. I showed this before, but I use this root master um, that prevents transplant shock. I use that every time after I repot, and I do water them immediately after, so I do not wait. I'm pretty happy with that. She looks pretty centered. Okay. Straight. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. So those are those are the new housings here. Here it is. Bear with me, that pot's gonna be in a decent proportion at some point in our lives. Okay, this is the first one. And then the video that got deleted, sadly, was the pearl berry. This baby. We did not get to see, unless you were there live. One of the 10 people. <laughs> um, so, yeah, thanks for joining, guys. Nice having you. I'll put this on IGTV. It's part of our little series on VIPs. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Have a great rest of your weekend.